What's up everyone, welcome to my 7th Dreamweaver tutorial. And in this tutorial I'm going to be talking about images. How to insert images on your web page and what you can do with them. Now the first thing that you can insert on your web page is something called an image placeholder. Now say you have some text on your web page and you know that you want to put an image there but you don't quite know what image you want to put yet you would insert something called an image placeholder and all this does is take the place of an image so it allows you to see what your web page would look like when you did insert an image on it and to do this go upside image I mean insert click image objects and image placeholder you can then specify the name of whatever your future image is going to be and the width and the height and all these attributes then click OK and as you can see a little box pops up that you can resize and it allows you to give you an idea of if you had an image on your web page what it would actually look like but I'm gonna go ahead and delete all that and I'm gonna show you guys how to add an actual image now there are two different ways that you can do this you can go up under your insert bar common and this little symbol right here when you highlight it, it says images you can do it that way or you can go to insert image then all you have to do is navigate to whatever image you want right here I have one on my desktop and just double click it and one thing to note when you're working with images on the web make sure that you use JPEG unless you know that you want to use something else but in general make sure they're JPEG and another thing to note when this box pop up, pops up you can just click OK every time and ignore it but it's a really useful to add some alternate text this will help other websites find your image and it'll also help search engines find what your website is about and help you get more popular on your website this is because search engines don't know what images are so if you add alternate text just a, a brief description of your image it'll tell the search engine what it is and it won't show up on your website at all so adding a brief description of your image right here can only help you it can't hurt you at all then click OK and as you can see I have a picture of my friend making out with some chick at a party here so that's how you insert a basic image on your web page and another thing that you can take note of is these black little squares around your image as you can see these are for resizing your image to make it bigger or smaller and you can also reposition the height or the width but one thing you want to take note of and, and this is probably the most important thing that I can teach you on images you do not ever want to use the resizing things why because when you're making a website and you resize your image this way then it takes about 10 times as long for the image to load not actually 10 times but it takes a lot longer what you want to do is get is edit your image size in the actual program such as Photoshop or Microsoft Paint if you're using it and then once you have the image size just upload it whatever size you want this will save your website a ton of loading time and another thing that you want to do the last thing I'm gonna go over right now is go down to border right here and make sure it equals zero sometimes when you insert images in Photoshop they'll give you a, a default background of 1 or 0.5 so make sure this is equal to zero if you don't want a border so that's all the time we have for right now. In the next tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to add a background image and a rollover image to your website. Thanks.